You know, you never want to have to do a video at midnight. But that's exactly what happened. I thought I thought this was going to be, you know. Thought this was going to be, you know, a Monday night at eleven o'clock, but no, no. The Bay Area San Diego game decided to go later than I thought it would go, but it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, let's start in the NAL first. It's easy, just five teams left. Carolina easily took care of West Texas, 66-35. Jacksonville beat up on Orlando, 67-44. And no, the NAL didn't fold. Indoor Football Insiders, who's basically rebranded itself to, like, Indoor Arena Insiders. That guy's an idiot, so... In any case, West Texas lost, so Orlando is the final team in the NAF playoffs. They'll be the four seed, regardless of what happens. That was also kind of inevitable. Uh, so really, the realist thing is, who are they going to play? Who will Orlando play? Will it be Jacksonville? Will it be San Antonio? Or will it be Carolina in the first round of the NAL playoffs, the semifinals? And the IFL, the game that just finished up. Let's move myself up a little bit here uh, to just talk about a lot of things so you see it. Let's talk about the standings first. Uh, Green Bay, unfortunately, due to conference record, you know, has been eliminated. So Sioux Falls and Quad City, they have clinched playoff spots. On the other side of things, you see. All those five and nine teams, so therefore, Northern Arizona, who beat Massachusetts and Tucson, they have clinched playoff spots. Arizona gets a home playoff game. Bay Area also gets a home playoff game. I didn't put that on there. Uh, speaking of Bay Area, Craig Peterson, he's a Bay Area Panther. He played tonight. Bay Area might leave the SAP Center with four options on where to go. Ely, Stockton, Oakland, or Sacramento. Now, uh, I made a post the other day about the uh, the incident between the Pirates players and the Arizona fans. You can't go into the stands. You can't be unruly. You can't go into the stands. That's basically, you can't be throwing out slurs and heckling players. And you can't, the players, you can't be going into the stands. No, at least one fan got kicked out of the arena. I don't know if he got suspended. He or she got suspended or not. But I do know that Leon O'Neill, Chris Ingram, Charles Williams, and Patrick Pass. Yes, Patrick Pass. Very surprising. They are all suspended indefinitely. And that definitely took a toll on the Pirates as they lost to Northern Arizona 37-32 against Sioux Falls. Was able to clinch by beating Iowa. Green Bay, unfortunately, could not hit past Squad City. They were down a good bit. And then Tucson able to defeat Duke City 59-51. There's also the IFL and XFL Combine. That'll be the same night as when the Hall of Fame guys get put in. So good for the IFL's partnership with the XFL. It's been a thing that's it, it's it's happened, you know, certainly, you know, seeing some players move around and stuff like that. Uh over from both leagues and everything like that. So, one week left, all that matters now is seeding because, well, we still need to figure out some seeding. So, um, everybody else right now, you know, you look at everything, the AL2, that championship had some broadcasting issues in it. Uh, I believe PDF Sports Network Fix those, but Jersey won over Steel City 39-18. The AIFA, well, the game that was supposed to be, you know, it was supposed to be a semifinal. Columbus's press release indicated that there would be a semifinal. There was no semifinal. We all know this. This is the AIFA we're talking about here. Uh, Tally Adams, he's gone from the South Florida Thunder. He, he left. He was the head coach and GM, but again... Mississippi and Columbus, the only two teams that have played more than one, that have played, you know, 
actual games, you know, most of the other teams have really played like one or two games that have lost their games. The difference is that Mississippi has won their games. They gave Mississippi a forfeit, you know, a forfeit win for the Dallas Falcons game. You know, the AI they did. And, uh, yeah, so Mississippi and Columbus, no semifinal played. July 15th, this game was already scheduled. So, naturally, that is going to be our AIFA championship. It's pretty much the same thing we kind of said at the beginning of the year, I think. I don't know. I don't remember at this point. The AIFA gives me a headache to talk about. Plus, it's it's midnight, so, you know, I, I don't have the energy to be mad and everything like that. Then you see this fall league that has popped up. So you were one. I was wondering what were these tryouts for. Turns out the Ohio Blitz and the Indianapolis Enforcers, who are back for some reason, there goes the Pack Gang. Yes, the Pack Gang. They're 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 a team that exists. Uh, you got the Kentucky Hurricanes, the Ohio Extreme, the Ohio Boom, Pittsburgh Outlaws, and the Rage. I don't think that's. I don't think that's the Eastern Shore Rage. I think that's just a team called the Rage. So that's going to be a fall league. They'll start up in October. Usually do not care for these leagues at all that pop up late, you know, after peak indoor football season. You know, like this is not really a league you want to talk about. This is probably, probably just a league that's going to exist. And then there's also another one that pop, that is popping up with Peach State cooking something up. Basically, these are this is a Georgia indoor football league for guys that have no experience. They have zero experience in the indoor arena scene. They may play on Peach State in the future. They may play somewhere else. They'll play in January and February, and there was like some other teams in here, but this is the updated you know, list of teams, the Georgia Indians, the Main Street 29ers, the Georgia Crushers, the Georgia Mob, the State Line Outlaws, and the North Georgia Blackhawks. There was also a team called the Smoke and the Bone Crushers, but they got replaced very, very quickly. So it is what it is. I don't have anything else to say because this midnight. Uh, yeah. We're getting ready for playoffs. That's what we're doing in the in the last two leagues that matter. And of course the AIFA championship is next week. So, you know, last of the tier three leagues to get their championship done. And don't forget there's something silly on an outdoor field the week after the championship. Makes you wonder why, why, why did I, I don't again I don't want to get off to a tangent about the AIFA. Because it's 12.30 at night. I'm going to bed. Good night, y'all. And I'll see you all next Sunday at like, hopefully 7 o'clock. Somewhere around that time. 